All right, good evening, folks. We're back here on the home bench, and tonight we've got this uh, FT991A. Uh, this is something I've had for a little bit of time now. It's uh, I made up a go kit to put this radio in here on the floor. Um, so this doesn't have uh, it isn't going to be spending a whole lot of time here on the bench, but I thought I would just compare the receive sensitivity of this radio versus if you've seen my video that I did on the FT710 and FTDX10 direct comparison with a Synad test, I thought I'd just uh, do one for this radio. So I'm, I'm basically just using the same parameters that we did on that other video. So we're just in the 10 meter band, uh, 28.399 megahertz here. And we're going to start with we're going to start with this this radio's best receive sensitivity settings, which is going to be the IPO amp two, and then we've also got um, DNR set at fifteen, and that DNR setting really doesn't matter. Um, it seems to be if as long as you've got it on between algorithm uh, setting one through all the way through fifteen, it seems to uh, act the same. It doesn't really. Um, change anything as far as how well the, the the sensitivity to that one kilohertz tone is like it does on the icon 30 uh, 30 uh, 7300 uh, with the yesu radios it just seems to be as long as it's on then it's gonna it's gonna be about the same across all of the algorithm settings you've got so we're starting out here at uh, one microvolt so you see we're set up there for one microvolt and we're we're using the the uh, sign adder up here same thing we did in the last video just for a direct apples to apples comparison and we'll go ahead and turn this uh signal generator signal generator on at one microvolt and you see with amp 2 dnr set at uh, 15 we're looking at about 22 db of synad there so pretty decent and we're just going to jump straight down to the minus 136 db that we did in the other video and we'll see where we stand there. So we'll go minus 136 dB. And you see that this radio is still holding 16 dB of Synad at minus 136 dB. Which, if you remember from the last video, the FT710 was the clear winner between the FTDX10 and it. And the FT710, I believe, was running 14 dB of Synad at minus 136 dBm and had just, you know, just beat out the FTDX10 by a couple of dB of Synad. So this FT9991A is doing two more dB of Synad than the FT710 did. I, I believe I'm right. Uh, 16 dB of Synad there at minus 136 dBm. Really, really impressive. I was pretty surprised at that. I thought that um, this being an older receiver, that uh, it wasn't going to be able to hold up to what the FT710 can do, but there we go. It's doing better than the FT710, which is absolutely awesome. So what we'll do now is just to show you, we're going to turn off uh, DNR, and you see how much of a difference that made. I mean, I, you can barely hear that tone in there. We went from 16 dB of sin at a minus 136 dBm to about four with dnr off now we turn it back on you see it jump up there and i'm going to turn it down to just say one so you can see and it's bouncing around between 12 and 14 db let's change our algorithm to five i guess it's going to make a little bit of a liar out of me isn't it there's 10. It's back up. Well, it's still kind of bouncing between 12 and 14. And oh, yeah, I guess it does do a little better on algorithm 15. Look at that. It's at 16 dBm at um, DNR of uh, setting of 15. All right, so it made a liar out of me. I thought I saw earlier that it wasn't really making much of a difference. Uh, but I mean, obviously, you see with it on and off, I mean, what a huge difference it makes. Regardless of the setting, it's just, it's a huge difference. There's setting one on 12 to 14 dBm. I mean, 12 to 14 dB of Synad off back down to four. And then we'll kick it back up to uh, 15 there, and we're at 16 dB of Synad. 
absolutely amazing. All right, so now just for a quick comparison, we'll just see what the uh, HP 8920 shows us for a Synad reading. We'll hook this up here to the HP 8920. And you see there, I don't know if you can really hear that, but it's showing about the same thing. It's showing about, uh, it's bouncing up to 16 dB of Synad, um, just like the, the sign adder is. So they're pretty much agreeing with each other there as, as far as their peak Synad reading. And yeah, so I, I guess um, if you want to choose a clear winner between these three radios, the FTDX10 up there, the uh, FT710 here, or the FT991A, the FT991A is definitely the clear winner by 2 dB of Synad. 16 dB of Synad at minus 136 dBm. So, amazing. Yeah. So, there you go. If, you, if you're on the fence between the three radios and receive sensitivity is up your, is up your alley, and that's really what's important to you, uh, this is the winner right here. Oh, well, let me do this real quick. Let's go back to... Um, Let's go back to the sign adder. I forgot. I'm going to show you what happens when you turn off. Uh, we take the IPO setting, just take amp one and amp two off. So let's go back to that. All right. So right now we're at uh, the same 16 dB of Synad. I'm going to turn off IPO. And you see, we, we basically lost our signal. You can't even hear it anymore. So that, that's not an accurate Synad reading there. That's just noise. Now, if we go to amp one, nothing, nothing at minus 136 dB. There you go. There it is, 16 dB of Synad with amp two. So you got to be running amp two if you want to get all that sensitivity. Yeah, so there you go. I hope that helps uh, anybody that uh, was on the fence about the three radios. And I mean, if I had to, to pick a. a uh, a radio that I think is my favorite right now um, between the 7300 up there, the FT710, the FT991A, or the FTDX10. I would say that the FTDX10 is my favorite as far as listening with DNR on. It's just such a smooth sounding DNR to my ear. Um, it's able to pick out weak signals and they sound great. Uh, the FT. 991A here is almost the same to me as far as the way DNR sounds and is very, very, very pleasurable to listen to as well. The FT710 and the, and the ICOM 7300 um, are obviously two completely different animals, but and they do com sound completely different with DNR. Uh, the, the 7300 um, just sounds like a wall of wash behind the DNR, any DNR setting you pick. It's just, it's not very pleasurable to use, in my opinion, to my ear. And the FT710 is got a decent DNR, but um, with the weak signals, it, it, it sounds like the, the modulation comes to sort of distorted almost on, on really weak signals. And I mean, it, you can, it's still completely usable, um, it's just to my ear, it sounds like that. And, and, and I'm, I'm basing that off of the, the outstanding DNR, the FTDX10. Um, so what I normally have here on, that I'm using on the bench now is the FTDX10, just for that reason. I like listening to the old guys uh, jibber jab for hours on, um, on 80 meter. And especially on 80 meter being as, as uh, noisy as it can get. Um, the FTDX10 just sounds absolutely fabulous with DNR on and pulls out the voices and that noise and they just sound great. And you really can't hear much of the noise. It just really does a good job uh, as compared to the other three radios here. So that's generally the radio that stays here in the rotation is that one. Uh, but I hope that all that information helps uh, somebody out if, if they're looking at, you know, looking at the four trying to make a decision i'm sure that icom uh, is going to come out with something to maybe like a mark, mark two of the i of the ic 7300 before too long and then maybe that'll drop the price down on those and drop the price down on the um 
on the FT710. Uh, who knows? Maybe not. Uh, but I still think all four of these radios are just fantastic. And if I had to have just one, um, it would be the FTDX10. If I didn't, um, if I wasn't given a choice and I would just randomly pull one out of a box, um, I would be happy with all four. I, I really would. They're all great receivers. Um, but if I had to choose a favorite, it definitely would be the uh, FTDX10. But this one here, outstanding receive sensitivity. The best of all four. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for receive sensitivity is important to you, the FT991A beats all of the other three. All right. So uh, 73 is everybody. We'll see you next time.